All right, book nerds. On this episode, I'll be speaking with Kevin and Leslie Alejandro from the short film Adult Night. In an attempt to live colorfully, the strength of a couple's relationship is tested by a situation where it might be more important to get out rather than get off. Let's get to it and hear what they have to tell us about their new short film. All right, book nerds, we're now speaking with the co-directors and the brains behind the short film Adult Night. Thank you both for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you, for you so much. Us. We're very stoked to be here. And when you say brains behind the project, you're probably referring to Leslie. No, no that's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's well, not, we're, we're, it's we are, Todd Sandler. It's, it's, uh, it's right. Todd Sandler. We are Los Alejandros, and uh, I'm Kevin. I'm Leslie. And we both co-directed uh, adult night that that poster right there <laughs> <laughs> so for those who maybe aren't familiar with this uh with this short film could you both uh tell us a little bit about it yeah i'll start off with saying that it is a heightened circumstantial um comedy uh sort of in the judd apatow vein um and you know, regardless of how heightened the circumstances are, it's ultimately about love and communication. By the end of the by the end of the film, we, we would hope that people understand that with 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 love and the proper communication, you can get yourself through any situation. Nice. So obviously, you both are the co-directors of this film. So I'm curious, what brought you both to the project? How did you both get involved in it? I'll let you start that one too, because of your big oh, story. yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I believe it was the second season of Lucifer. Leslie Ann Brandt and I realized pretty quickly that, that we wanted to do more together. Um, and uh, we were looking for a project, uh, a short film that we could shoot together during our time off. Um, and coincidentally, I had a friend named Derek Ray who, who, who ended up writing our script, um, who was living in LA at the time and uh, challenging himself to write something every day. He was in a, a, a writing uh, class um, and that was the challenge, write something every day. And so uh, we came up with the idea of, you know, two people locked into a room, uh, a situation, Leslie Ann Brandt and myself. And this was the story that, that, that we came up with um, that he wrote and then together, uh, Leslie Alejandro um, and our producing partner, Todd sort of, um, changed its style a little bit to the script that you see today. And tell me a little bit about what it was before. Yeah, so uh, Kevin and Leslie Ann were shooting Lucifer in Vancouver at the time. So, you know, there was definitely a lot of free time because when you're out there and don't have a lot of friends and family, except for the castmates that, you know, that you have around um, each other, uh, they knew that they wanted to do something kind of quick and something cool that kind of went outside the genre that they had been filming for the last, you know, for a couple seasons already. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't until we moved back to LA when Lucifer got moved to LA um, by season four. Four. Uh, yeah, that, so this is by, you know, the end of uh, the summer of last year. Um, I had already been directing uh, for about a year and a half. I started taking directing classes um, at UCLA Extension, uh, doing the directing program. Um, I'm, I, I'm a photographer by trade, so I kind of wanted to veer into filmmaking. And at that point, Kevin and I were just like, we want to do something in our time off. He'd already wrapped. And so we, we pulled up the script again that Derek had written probably like a year and a half yeah. prior. We, we ended up not having time to do it in Vancouver for various different reasons with, you know, our schedules and stuff like that. So like you said, a year and a half later, we we were itching to do something together. And, and, like, and Derek had and Derek had written it more kind of like a half hour comedy um, with those type of beats, but we wanted to create, we wanted it to feel a little bit more cinematic. So mm -hmm. we, and, and give it a little bit of air, even though it was super quick, you know, quick quipped in dialogue, we still wanted to give it a little bit more of these, uh, these beats that read a little bit more cinematically so that we could shoot it shoot it more cinematically and so we kind of Derek gave us the permission the permission to kind of massage it a little bit okay. and so kevin me and todd sandler our producing partner we sat together and we we just kind of gave it those type of beats and those moments um i can remember I, after after we finally had come up with something the three of us together i sent it to Derek and was like 
what do you think, Derek, Derek Gray, our writer, I sent it to Derek and was like, what do you think about this? And he goes, wow, you guys are sick. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are sick. <laughs> but also at the same time, you know, he, it's loosely based on, you know, partial experience that he and an ex-girlfriend had gone through. Um, but we really wanted, you know, Kevin and I are, are not really based, but inspired, inspired by, by know, yes. those ideas that, you know, and, and so, but Kevin and I, we, you know, we really wanted to own it. We are, we were a party couple before we had our kid. We, you know, we did have a kid and had to mourn this, this free time and this, you know, single parenthood time of, uh, you know, I mean, sing, single pre-parenthood time. Um, so we really wanted to lean into that concept of what we knew what it was like to try and spark something after having a child together and and what it was like for, you know, a couple that used to be a party couple trying to do something different and new. So this was kind of what, what formed from that. That's awesome. So short yeah. answer long. <laughs> <laughs> Very, so, very, very. Long. You talked a lot about the script. I'm curious, you know, you always hear a lot about uh, movies and shorts and TV shows where there's script and then, you know, the cast goes off script and, you know, it becomes even better. Or there's a lot of ad libs. So I'm curious how much of the script was actually used versus how much was just, you know, you guys trying to make up stuff on the spot and like just playing around with it. Well, what? Go oh, go I'm sorry. No, please. Oh. So, um, because we got, we were able to do a lot of rehearsal time. We 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 really did a lot of prep for this. We shot it in one day. Um, we even you know we even made our day an hour prior to to you know our proposed wrap um, because we spent a lot of time. We blocked it. We rehearsed it with the actors because we really needed them to not only feel uh, because they they had natural chemistry, but we really wanted it to um, to kind of come out on screen in their chemistry too. So we did rehearse it a lot. So a lot, there there are moments that were not necessarily originally written in the script, um, but some that definitely came out even through just the rehearsals that they ended up keeping as well. The, so the fact that we rehearsed it like a play really lent itself to um, our our improvisation during that. But once we found something that worked within that rehearsal process, we kept it. So by the time that we ended up shooting, all the stuff that we come up with in rehearsal, um, a lot of it you guys uh, kept. We kept it, and so it became essentially part of that script. You know but, what I'm but saying? All, but then um, also, you know, then there's then there's having to you know film it in the actual location. We were not rehearsing in that studio location because we weren't renting it for you know weeks at a time. Um, we had to do it in different spots and kind of block these, you know, locations in a garage or in somebody's living room or whatnot. Um, so once they felt mm -hmm. that it, that space in that area, I mean, more things so, changed. Some too, things changed. So. Like even even like, you know, in the trailer, uh, there's there's a part where it's like, you know, it was you, it was your idea. Uh, you were the one who said that you wanted to try something new, something something spunky, something to to make us live colorfully. Well, that was inspired by the space that Leslie found, you know, because that all that neon was already there. It was a pre-existing set that we did that was used for fo for photography or music videos or whatever. But how, and how so we perfect were, though? Yeah. yeah I mean, so we were able to there. amalgamate what what we rehearsed into, um, you know, using our space as its own character as well. So that's awesome. Yeah, it was very. Very organic, but a lot of it, you know, like I said, because, and like she said, because we rehearsed the hell out of it, uh, it left it open to those, no, you pinky swear, no, I pinky swear, no, you got to wrap it in, you know, it's all oh, stuff even, that organic. Even, even that, that high five and her, her going ow, like, yeah, literally was in the moment, you know, that, 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 those gave me good laughs. I loved the high five and she's like, ow, and then the, no, pinky, you have to pinky problem, you have to pinky. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying throughout those moments. And, and that one, that one is a mine and Kevin and and our son's thing. That if if you, if that if finger, you don't wrap the pinky, then if, you're not really promising. If that finger, <laughs> I mean, it can't be this finger. It can't be that finger. If that finger is not wrapped, then you know, then that you cannot break that promise. You know, yeah. So it was one of those. Nice. So from other roles that you've done, Kevin, was there anything in particular that you got to do in this short film that you really haven't gotten to explore in other? Uh, roles in the past absolutely man you know just just the extreme freedom 
to, um, you know, as actors, we always try to invest a certain amount of ourselves or find what it is within ourselves that makes that, makes taking the journey into somebody else's skin uh, more believable for ourselves, right? So this was an opportunity to, like what Leslie said, like with the pinky swears and stuff like that, uh, to really relate to a certain part of me of who I am to bring out into this character. And, and it was a real, like, I don't really get to just kind of go uh, with film and television, you know? Um, when I'm on, when I'm in a play and I have all that time and I have that rehearsal space and I have this, this time to really rediscover this this whole human being and what this world is in parts of myself that I open myself up and so this was an opportunity to almost go back to uh, that feeling of what it was like to be on stage you know to have that month and a long month and a half long rehearsal even though we only had a week but it was still enough because we don't get that time. Uh, with with something like Lucifer that we shoot, you know, that we shoot an episode back to back to back to back to back, you know, and sometimes double up on the same thing that you're just kind of going with the, you're going, your rehearsal's done at home, you know. Uh, so that, yeah, it was a real opportunity for me to go back to sort of my roots and just sort of rediscover that process of- Well, also of, to be funny. And to be to funny. To really be funny. Yeah. I mean, because even though his character on Lucifer is meant to be the straight edge, and that contrast with with every you know with Lucifer who's so loose and makes it funny. It's he's not necessarily trying to be funny. But I'm a straight man. I'm a straight man funny. Yes, but but in here he would he actually gave him and Leslie an opportunity to show how funny they are because both of them kind of like play more serious characters. Even though you know Leslie in in, um, in Lucifer has a lot of fun like one liners and whatnot, mm -hmm. but to actually like play this like more. Uh, what physical comedy too i thought that was just it was so great to see both of them do it because they they nailed it i think they did it so well oh absolutely again i i watched it i loved it i was laughing the whole time and i thought it was just fantastic all around oh thank, thank you. you so how has the reception been so far for it where can um where can our listeners our viewers see the short film and thirdly i know it's a kind of a three in one question what other projects do you guys have going on right now that we can check uh you know hope hope to you know see soon yeah well first of um you know the next place everyone can see it is at the holly shorts um film festival which is happening now um what do you know what our air date is on that uh we're doing the whole weekend we chose the, it's, whole, it's weekend. the whole weekend of the, the uh, or, or the whole the whole th three days am i saying this right guys <laughs> Maybe we should have done, <laughs> we should have prepared what dates a, you know, that Holly Yeah, you know, I don't have the dates right on me. Pete might have, might, might be able to join in on the dates, but we are doing the Holly Shorts Film Festival. We're doing it for the whole weekend. I believe this is upcoming weekend, um, and we'll have more specific answers by the end of the podcast. Um, but yeah, that's the next time the audience can see it. And then after that, you know, we're just... We have some we have some hopes for it, and um, you know, to for it to branch out beyond what it is, um, not necessarily that story, but um, you know, a concept that goes that sort of fits into that world of love and respect and and communication, getting you out of any situation. Um, so it's inspired something beyond what the short film is, um, and uh, you know, I have various things in development right now. We Leslie and I have a, a, a company. Uh, called Alejandro Films, along with uh, her sister, my sister-in-law, um, and we have various things in in works. But Leslie just directed three music videos that that I think people should, um, if you get the opportunity to check out, it's all online right now. So yeah, um, one of them is by India De Beaufort, who is an actress and um, decided was inspired by this election to uh, really put out there uh, the meaning of feminism and 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 how important it is to vote. Um, and it's called Crack. And then the other one, complete opposite, is a goth video <laughs> by an artist the, um, called The Sweet Kill, uh, which is um, was shot a little bit more cinematic where the other one was more um, performance. So they're both really fun. Yep. Awesome. Well, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, do you have any parting words for you know any inspiring filmmakers? You know, I'm, I'm, I, I always say pretty close to the same thing when I get this question, and it's mostly because I truly believe it, you know, and it's surround yourself with other people uh, that you want to make movies with, that you want to tell stories with, find your pack, find your family that, that, that thinks the way you think, but also takes you outside of your own comfort zone that challenges you to make you better. You know, that's what Alejandro Films is all about. 
Um, and, you know, don't let anyone tell you that you can't. Uh, but at the same time, you know, don't wait for anyone either. Um, if there's something you want to film, if there's something that you want to write, if there's something you want to do, go out and do it. Um, I think, you know, Kevin, when he went on his journey to be, to filmmaking, you know, coming up, you know, coming from acting, um, he took a JVC camera out and he literally did an entire short film all by himself. It's when my son and I were in LA and he was um, at, at the apartment in Vancouver completely by himself. Um, but but these are the things he would challenge himself with. To, to, to he wanted to show, he wanted to see if he knows how to frame, if he knows how to tell a story through um, through visuals, if he that he knew how to tell this type, um, any kind of story. And he did it and did it all on his own. And that inspired all of us who now work all together all the time to want to go in there and do it too. So don't wait for anybody. Do it, you, you know, anybody. do it and, and inspire the ones who want to work with you. And educate yourself. Yes. Learn. Because every every single thing that you do, you will have a certain part. You will take something away from it. Even if it's quote unquote bad, there's going to be something good that you take out of it. So challenge yourself to do those and challenge yourself to fail because within that failure, you'll take some, some success. I think that's some fantastic advice for our listeners. And I, I think it's a, also great advice for just life in general. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you again, both for joining us. I wish you both uh, the best of luck and all the success with the short film. And I can't wait to hopefully see, uh, see you both in person uh, in the near future. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Good to see you time. again, man. You too. You too. All right. Take, care. Take care. All right. Bye. 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 If any of our listeners have the opportunity to watch this short film, I really recommend it. It's funny and it has its own sense of humor, and overall, it's just a great short. I can't wait to see what happens for these amazing filmmakers in the near future. That's all for this episode, so we'll be back real soon with another episode of the podcast. Any final words for our listeners, Kevin or Leslie? Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Kevin Alejandro. I am one of the actors and one of the directors of Adult Night, the short film. Hi, I'm Leslie Alejandro, and I am one of the directors and producers of Adult Night, the short film. And you're listening to GeneBuckner.com. And we are Los Alejandros, coming to you to tell you all about filmmaking and telling stories oh and doing everything you want to do in this life. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs>